You managed to get me sleep. No, I tried. Kept hoping this was all a nightmare, then I'd wake up. But here I am. Have you called your parents? No, I don't want to worry them. Hey, hi. Tell me this is all going to be over soon. We've secured a bail hearing at 4pm. You would have thought overnight some sense might have prevailed. So what are my chances of being released? I'm not going to lie to you, Beck. In other words, I've got no hope. Well, no, we said the same thing at Addo's bail hearing. That's right, and he got bail. Okay, I'm leaving. I said I can at least stay a few minutes, something about two visitors at a time. Thanks for coming down. You know we're all behind you, okay? Sorry. You don't have to say anything, I know. Okay, I'll be back before the hearing. See ya. Have you given any thought to what we talked about last night? I have no idea who's framing me. All right, well, let's look at the evidence. We've got the parking ticket. Yes, I, I was here that night, but I didn't get a parking ticket. So how could I pay for it with marked money? Do you recall your movements exactly? I found out that Jared was being questioned over Tiger, so I came down. And as I approached the front door, I saw everybody sitting there. I decided there was nothing I can do, so I just left. And you went straight back to your car? No. I went for a walk down to the wharf. I was away from the car maybe an hour and a half. Okay. Good. So it stands to reason that the person that's framing you could have seized the parking ticket in that time. So they followed me? Yeah, perhaps. So then there's the scarf. Are you absolutely sure that there was no sign of forced entry into the apartment? None. So whoever planned it there either picked the lock or had a key. I don't understand any of this. Has to be someone close, right? Yeah, reasonably. The person who took the parking ticket, what if they were already here on the night? What are you suggesting it was one of our friends? Beck, do you know why the police think Jared is involved in this as well? I told you we shared a cab. Yeah, I know. And you explained it, Jared explained it, but I just get the feeling that there's more. Beck, if I'm going to defend you, I need to know everything. OK, look, there is a little bit more information, but it's not relevant. Tell us anyway. Jared was angry with Philby on the night that he died too. But I don't know why. How was she? A lot calmer than I'd be if I was in her shoes. Was she disappointed I didn't come down? No, I, I only saw her for a few minutes anyway. I can't face seeing her in there. I'm a terrible friend. No, you're not. Gabby, what's happening to us? I know Jared. Now, he's not setting me up. Look, nobody's saying that he is. But you admit you don't know exactly what the police have against him. Well, it's not relevant. So can we just leave it at that? I don't want to consider it either, but you're here, and if that can happen, then anything is possible. Uh, OK, let's just look at what we know for sure. That's exactly my point. If the police suspect Jared, but we don't know the details, I'm sorry, but I think that's relevant. Detective, have you spoken to Deborah yet? Yes, I relayed the allegations you made last night. And how did she take it? Well, I think it's fair to say that neither Deborah or Daniel are prepared to accept it. Please tell me you are ready to drop these charges. No, I'm afraid things have just become a lot more serious. Do you recognise that? No. Well, I think that if we do the tests on this, we'll discover that this was the pistol used to fire the shot at Tiger a potential witness who's disappeared off the face of the earth. Well, I've, I've never seen it before. I swear. Then how do you explain the fact that we found this in your locker at the hospital? She's adamant the gun isn't hers. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder too. You know, the parking ticket, OK, that was careless. The scarf? Well, maybe she had a reason for stealing. I can buy that. But... To, to leave a gun in a locker, you know? If Rebecca is telling the truth and she's being set up, don't we have to release her? Well, maybe we hold her for a little while longer and see what happens. See, if she's being framed, who's ever framing her has got to be pretty desperate. So if we hold her in custody for a little while longer, they might take the opportunity to strike again. And if so, we need to be a step ahead of them. If Rebecca isn't McManus's killer, and that's still an if, then someone close to her is. And if she's being set up, she's being set up for a reason. Now we need to find out who and why. 